going to be cooking with Carl and baking with Becca. Yeah, we are I'm, in squash hey, battle. Fun. <laughs> squash <laughs> battle this week. So, you know, we actually do this almost about once every couple of months. Now it idea. seems to be the tradition. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Carl is a very competitive human. So, no, no, I'm nice. <laughs> a nice guy. Who and says, you're oh, not. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm super, I'm super broke my eggs on purpose on today. purpose uh, yeah she pulled i was driving she pulled the wheel you know almost made me crash that's me yeah yeah Keep anything going, for sabotage uh you got a secret ingredient or two i, I have a few we'll different over. secret ingredients we will but what are you making shall we talk about what we're making today for the squash battle all right so today for my squash battle i am making squash soup so i make this every year I love it. It's a recipe from my brain. Yeah. And so it is not a recipe that you will find online. However, I will provide the ingredients in an email later. It's locked in here <laughs> and it's like a little bit of love and a little bit of Becca chemistry. So that's yeah, it. Yeah, I, I wanted to do, everybody does some kind of roast, cube squash or soup. And those are all great, but I wanted to do something a little different. And these are little snackables, little uh, squash tots. Ooh, I love it. I love the creativity. Yeah, yeah. So you can also uh, substitute the squash if you wanted to do these with zucchini as well. You want me to go over it? Yeah, let's go over okay, your so recipe I first. Need, um, as I bring York into my the frame. tots. Uh, three small yellow squashes. I don't know if these are yellow squashes. Does anybody know? Acorn Am I in trouble? Squash? Am I in trouble? Is it like acorn squash is fairly yellowy orange inside. The only yellow squash we could find was spaghetti squash. So we were yeah. thinking that wasn't it. Well, we'll see how these turn out. We're yeah. going to make tots from these things. Tater tots. These weird vegetables. And, squash uh, tots. I'm, I'm not squash. Oh. I need one egg, uh, a bit of cheddar cheese, or any other meltable cheese, four ounces, uh, three quarter cup breadcrumbs, which right you, here, you hit on me again. You're one, a kid on you this yeah, time. Yeah, one onion we got there, garlic powder, which I'll get. Some salt, uh, pepper to taste, and parsley leaves, which again I I didn't get. Shoot, that's okay. Uh, and then uh, you can make a special dip. I'm gonna make a fancy ketchup y sriracha -y dipper. It, it, they said yogurt dip. That would have been Greek yogurt, lemon juice, parsley again. Gotta love a little bit of yogurt or garlic. sour cream. That would have been good, but I don't know if we had the time. But uh, garlic dip might have been nice with these. Absolutely. So we'll see. Maybe I'll throw in some hot pepper. So let's talk squash. about, yeah, well, probably you will because everything he does is like mm -hmm. lighting your mouth on fire. So I That's extract true. these tater tots, <laughs> the hottest tots you'll ever find in the yeah, history of tater tots. Where's our hot peppers? I'll find All right. while you, uh... Well, I talk, let me tell you what my recipe is, friends. So generally speaking, um, this is a recipe. Everybody has a recipe for squash soup. So I'm going to give you the Becca special. Uh, so oh, what it is, special. is it is the Becca special. It is two, um, two butternut squash and you have to cube them in advance and roast them off slightly. Just You'll finish them. roasting them in the pan, but they've got to be a little bit roasty before you start. You want them to be a little bit like soft. Then my trusty, trusty Patax mild Korean. Now there's nothing more than I love than a little bit of curry in my soup. So this is actually really warming and great on a cold day. So this, your Patax, I use a little bit of ginger, I use all of these shallots in this package. So in this package, there is like about 350 grams of shallots and I'm gonna use every single one of them chopped pretty fine. And then I've got three boxes of chicken stock. Now you can do this with veggie stock if you want, but again, I, I am not a veg. So I will definitely use chicken stock today. It's a lot of broth, it's a lot of broth but it's broth. good, yeah. it's good. And that's my recipe ingredients. Well, I guess because it's soup, right? It is yeah. soup. It is soup. I mean, so, soup. Carl, do you want to We're start? Or should I start? Or are we both going at the same time? Hey, you know what? You go ahead. I go I'm ahead. Gonna, I'm going to start seeing what's inside of my crazy squash. All right. So he's going to start to core his squash. While he does that, I'm actually going to grab a great big knife. He's taking one of them. I need another. Thank you. Oh, he hit the knife. <laughs> We're getting closer to Halloween, so you can see here we are with our <laughs> psycho knives. How do, you cut um, how do you cut it? I generally cut it right down the middle. This way? Yeah. Anybody have hot tips about cutting your squash? Yeah. Let me get I've always try, I always try heating a little bit in the microwave first to soften it at, at the other ah. side. I don't know whether it's right or not. No. But Why I can't cut a butternut squash very well. Well, I'm Rebecca Carla. Hi, Caroline. 
Nice to see you. Welcome back. Boy, that is tough. All right, so I'm going to start out with my shallots while Carl is trying to tough me. <laughs> oh, he's strong. He's got this. So, so I've got just this. Cantaloupe it out. Cantaloupe it out. What do you mean cantaloupe it out? Uh, my little seed. Yeah, you guys scoop out that business for sure. Who thought these were edible? Listen, they are edible once you roast them. I have a different recipe for those. You know what I do with them? I don't know. My favorite thing to do with those is to like fill them up with pecans and a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of bacon and roast those and that's what i have it's like this weird sweet like almost dessert squash thing the baconator the, the baconator you know me <laughs> right does anybody uh, have a special recipe for squash that they really love i have one from a chef from uh malta from malta tell me about it uh it has butternut squash broth a slice or two of bread yeah and, and Granny Smith apple. Apples, interesting. And what? nutmeg and onion. Yep. Nutmeg's great. And potentially some cream. Lovely. And she tops it off with pine nuts, which makes pine nuts. Sounds delicious. Sounds like home. There's that's a lot of. Yeah, that's how I learned to eat squash. <laughs> There's a lot of really sweet dishes that are inspired from that, like from the Mediterranean. When you're looking at like when they're dealing with that stuff, absolutely. We use a lot of like nutmeg, um, allspice, stuff like that. So that it's sounds like tunnel, it, it is flavored. I like putting cinnamon on it too. You like putting wow. cinnamon, Caroline. That sounds great. Whoa. And do you do that yeah. before you roast it or after? Well, uh, I, I do it both actually. I yeah. put it after too to give it more flavor. Amazing, Whoa. amazing. I'm sure that's, that sounds delicious to me. I assume any pumpkin pie spice would be good. Yeah, I Just think so too. Squash. Agreed. Pumpkin pie spice is amazing. Pumpkin. You know, I don't like Yesterday pie. was my birthday. <laughs> Yesterday was your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy belated. Happy, belated. happy belated, Caroline. We're happy you're here with us. Yeah. Did you have a fun birthday? Yeah, Good. I got uh, a cur uh, blow dryer for body lotion, and it was wow. Nice. We That's sat inside village by the Grange. Super great. Yeah, it was That's nice. Awesome. I had a nice time. So happy birthday, are. Caroline! Thank you, Hilda. My birthday is one day before yours. Uh, what did you do, birthday. Hilda? What is this week? Wow. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy what did birthday. you do on your birthday? Mine is That's next super week. That your birthday was oh, what is she, who's next week? Ava. Uh, Hi, I'm Ava. Sorry? Ava. Yeah. Your birthday Any was plans, Ava? Too. Mine is coming next week. Wow. Any plans? Uh, Any plans? Lots of October people. Yeah. yeah. So Caroline was just asking Ava if you have any plans for your birthday. Uh, trying to get, get out of bed more often. <laughs> ah, yes, that's a great plan. <laughs> Some days that's a lot harder than well, others, isn't it? Some days my plan is to stay in bed. <laughs> Happy birthday in bed. <laughs> yeah. I like that. It's oh. a good... when, is your, when is your birthday, Rebecca and Carla? Oh. February 21st. On February 28th, which is this. Oh, oh you guys are twins. Oh. Yeah, uh, Pi Pisces. Are you Pisces? I am Pisces. Yeah, that's why we're so similar and, and soft. Competitor and <laughs> Competitor, but also gentle and kind. Huggers. I'm a big teddy bear. I'm a huge hugger. I'm a mush. That's why COVID is hard for me. I like to touch everyone all the time in an appropriate way. With all the knife. Of course. <laughs> oh, I see why you said uh, heating these up would have helped. You got any room well, over I have trouble oh. getting skin on from cutting them. What's that? <laughs> It's, it's just so hard to cut them up. And, they are. They are. I see what you're saying. Well, I'm going to start I, grading. Yeah. I sort of wonder where I can just use a can of pumpkin someday. Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> so he's grading them up so that they'll cook faster, which is really smart. Actually, because I'm making little tots. So what goes inside them is grated squash, breadcrumbs, your egg, and, and you just... And, oh. Well, how are you doing with those salads? Terrible. Uh, I need my glasses. Yeah, you need your protection. Where's your? How long would you bake it for? 
Uh, the talks are 20 minutes at 400. Okay. Not long. Not long. But the, the hard part here is after I shred, I have to squeeze the liquid out of the shredded squash. So I'm supposed to salt them, leave it. The salt will pull some of the water out, and then I can squeeze it either with a cheesecloth, which I don't have, or your bare hands. Just which to get he has. some of the liquid out, right? So I have I figured it would be funny for you guys. I am not using our hot tip of eye protection. Oh, how many shallots? Jeez. Oh, Carly. You're doing all of them, eh? You, you want a hand? You want to... Here, let's treat. You, 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 you great. I can't even we'll be, see. We'll be friends for a little bit. I'm crying, folks, but how it's not like... You're making me hungry. I'm going to have my banana. You're making me yeah. hungry. I didn't have oh, my banana. Oh, oh. I didn't have breakfast yet. As diced as you can. As diced as I can. They're not even hitting me. These are, they smell beautiful. They do smell great. Now, I'm going to talk with my eyes closed for a little bit because honestly, <laughs> when you don't have your eye protection from your hot tip the previous week, it's really the only way you can move forward. Yeah. Um, now, what is everybody doing? We have Halloween coming up. Is anybody oh, doing anything special for Halloween? Too scary. <laughs> Outfits, dressing up. Dressing up. Halloween party. I think Halloween party for sure. We're definitely going to have a Halloween party online and in person here at the club. So I can be no, scared. Email the Halloween party online. I'll see you guys online. That'll be fun, Yeah, of hey? course. Yeah, we're going to do a costume party online wow. and in person. We can do a scavenger hunt. For sure, we'll do like a scavenger that. hunt. Like scavenger hunt coming up. Does that hurt your eyes too there? No. <laughs> it doesn't hurt my eyes, but my eyes are crying like crazy. I don't, I don't know. I think I must be allergic to shallots. I, I need immune. to wash my face. I'm immune. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, oh, here's well, this. You know what we're going to do? We're going to trade recipes and not show each other what goes in it. So I'm going to be now making soup from scratch. Okay, guys? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, are you okay? I am okay. I'm Poor good. Girl. I am good. Well, I, okay. Becca, do you have matches there, like the wooden matches? I know what you're getting at. Oh, they help, eh? The do sulfur. They? Next time, I'll guys. If you if you hold them in your mouth, you will not cry. Why? Or if you if you take a sip of wine and hold it in oh, your no. mouth, you won't <laughs> cry. That's the best one. But the, wine fixes everything. Do you want this one then? <laughs> Please, I mean, yeah. So the 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 match in the mouth. I hope you're not lighting this match. No, no. Okay, just just hold it. Interesting. So that's a good hot tip for this that's week. A, that's a, I was gonna say. Uh, so Hill's hot tip. Hold uh, uh, the so so match this. in your mouth when you're cutting really crazy stuff. It I, makes your eyes go wild. Or like last week where you said you can put them in the fridge for a little while. Yes. A little bit. All but, the hot tips that I didn't take well, for myself this week. We, we were in uh, a bit of a rush this week. We were running around grabbing pumpkins. Uh, we got here like five minutes to spare. So we'll see how we do. We usually do pretty good. I'm confident in us. Yeah, I think we're going to do okay. Okay, so here's your spicy stuff. Um, my right. grating. Your grating's coming. Yeah. Uh, just had to step away for a moment, Carl. It wasn't any sabotaging. <laughs> so what I've done here is what I've peeled off about a quarter of the ginger. You can see I've taken this right off, and now I'm going to do what Carl's doing. I'm going to grate my ginger. So that that's not really a grater, that little guy. This is isn't it? really a grater. He's like mashing it. Yeah, so we're going to just do you can this. Use this if you want. Can I? Well, when you're done. You're using that one right now. So I'm going to mash it. Okay. So I'm going to mash up my ginger. I'll just be a no, you take your time, Carl. Now, there's a lot of different really strong flavors in my recipe, but they are going oh, to be roasted yeah. out. So what I'm doing is I'm just grating it pretty fine. If you want to chop it fine, you can. Yeah. Um, that's also okay. But I like to grate it as fine as possible because I find that with ginger, you get those really long hairs. Like they're weird hey, kind ginger. of fibrous. It's, it's not hair. It's like fibrous yeah, saying, yeah. parts of the ginger that like get real weird. And then you bite into them and you're like, what the heck am I eating? Um, so I want to make sure that I get that all out as much as humanly possible. So now I've grated up my 350 grams of... Oh, I think she's winning, folks. I, I don't know. We'll I'm, see. I'm, uh, I'm stuck here at the start line. Smell that. That'll clear out your senses. <laughs> but uh, certainly the ginger, I've got a nice chunk. So I've got about a half an inch piece of ginger. Just I've got my 350 it. grams of chopped shallots in there now. Yeah. That's it. And you'll see that I'm putting these all in together. If you want, 
you can actually start cooking at this point. So what I'll do as soon as I get my ginger grated yeah. is I will start, uh, I will start turning on. Carl, can you turn on the stove for me? Let's oh, see if he'll no, sabotage no, no, no. me. We gotta fight each other. We gotta fight each other. It's we are hard. not being very fight fighty today. Not We're not being very adversarial is the right word. Maybe one? less fighty, more adversarial. Yes, please. That's the one. So a nice big pan. Yeah. And what I like to do is if you have a big bottom pot, you can do this all in one pot um, at home if you're not being fancy. But because our oven is, or our stovetop is uh, very much like Kathy's new oven. So it's a, uh, what do you call it, Carl? Induction. It's an induction range. That means we only have specific pots that work with it. That's so, the hard part with induction. That's it. So I just added a bunch of salt because it's going to help pull the moisture. You need a little more salt, Carl? Oh, you. you well, you I don't know how much to add. Maybe a lot of salt. I think you should add all the oh, salt. Okay, I see. What do you guys think? I see. I see. All the salt? <laughs> Boy, this is, this is rough. Good <laughs> job. I hear somebody saying something. Yeah, Say it again. I did some research. And yes. I think, can't you buy a stainless steel disc to put on the range and then you that would the induction will heat the disc and then uh, you put any pot on top but and then you're, that's but smart then you're they exist the they have a little handle so for the price of a decent an okay pot you can buy one of these discs i haven't done it hot tip from kathy like kathy's hot tip well, i was trying to think about how to survive right so yeah. I have awesome. two favorite pots I can't use, and I'm thinking, well, a disc would be cheaper than the pot. It'll just slow down the cooking a little bit. That's incredible. You know what's wild today is that we've had two hot tips, two amazing hot tips from two different people today. I don't even know if we need our hot tip. Oh, you know what else is wild? What's wild, Carl? Squash. Squash? Yeah, well, you keep working. I think that looks pretty dicey to me. My arm. <laughs> That's the plan. Work the arm. She's trying to wear me out here. I am trying to wear you out. I need a nap. Now I want to keep in mind, everyone, that my squash is in the oven, covered in olive oil. I have two butternut squash. They are small to medium sized butternut squash, and they are roasting in the oven at 450 oh, degrees. Oh, oh, oh. I'll show those. Well, how did you chop them up? Just into irregular, smaller pieces, and I did. Chunks, oh, right? But yeah. how did you? Yeah. How are you? How are you able to do it? They're so they hard. Have, what's that? They're so hard. How did you cut it up? We just cut it with a knife. Yeah. You get Carl to do Yeah, I know. So my hot tip this week, my hot tip before you cut your squash is that you throw it into a pot of hot water for about boiling water for about 10 minutes. Then you bring it out and it's soft and you can just peel the peel right off. Yeah, that's no, I'm not just doing that idea. this week. Yeah, we, we didn't have time, but Caroline made quick work of that. Caroline made she, quick she work of chopping. Yeah. But yes, with squash or any other kind of hard thing, remember the potato, the same thing like skinning that potato that time. Ooh. If you throw it into boiling hot water, the skin just peels right off. Kath, you said you put yours in the microwave? Yeah, yeah. I soak it a bit just in case that matters. But yeah. yeah. Oh, that's great. That's smart. Okay. That's Good. super smart. So I'm all braided here. I'm going to show everybody. All right, show you. everybody your oh, great, you and then I'm going to be over the, the stove. The no, I'm finished. Thank you for oh, asking. Yes, you're fast today. I'm very fast today. Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch out for me, Carla. Yeah, but. Oh oh oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Tripped me. Tripped you. Well, here's what Becca's got going on. All right. There's some. Uh, I don't know. It looks weird. Maybe it'll win. We'll see. Of course it looks. Weird. There's mine. This is some shredded squash. I'm going to add some more salt. So my next job is getting the water out of this stuff. All right. So you get your water I'm out. Start squeezing somehow. How All do right. I do this? Squeeze it over uh, so the sink and another yes. bowl. And you'll remember from another week, like Carl said before, adding salt always helps to draw out water. I would honestly, Carl, get some paper towel, put around it, and squeeze. That's that's a good idea. That's what I would do. This is crazy. This is crazy. So take a look at that. But I am going to steal this for one second because I want to. I am because I want to show them what I'm doing over here for just a second. You can take it right back. Just, can just everybody see the pan? Confusing. I can't see the pan, Carl. Uh, can you see it? I don't want you to see. You don't want me to see it. Well, I want to see. You can see in the top. Of, oh. Of the screen okay. Here. So let's see. Maybe to the so right. Kind of see the, the pan. I'm going to squeeze. Look at that. There's the pan. All right. So what I always do, and we've talked about this before, 
blooming the spices. So you want to get yourself to about a medium high heat. This is not working. Not a super high heat because you don't want it to automatically burn. This feels pretty high. Yeah. I'm going to go to a medium high heat. I am going to check this. How do you let him just cool. playing with food? Woo! What was that? <laughs> this. Okay. You can't see because okay. I got is that on too hot? it in the face. No, it's okay. Okay, let's try Becca's method here. So She's thought it would work. So I've got about a teaspoon to start of my patax. And patax is actually a great. What is this word? So patax is the, is the brand, okay. but it's a great brand of curry paste that I like. I'm sure that there's other curry pastes that people can recommend. Does anybody have a recommendation of curry paste? When I do curry, it's the blocks, but that's for a different kind of curry. Does anybody else have a recommendation? Just use curry powder. Yeah. Curry powder, nice. Oh, I smell that already. Yeah, so here. you can really smell this. And what you do, and what I like to do, is immediately cook it off a little bit, <laughs> toast up the spices. You can see it's changing color a little bit. I'm having a rough time. Baby. I'm going to turn it down a little lower because it's on pretty high heat. And so I'm just toasting this off for a second or two. You can see it's shrinking down, getting hot. And you can see all the oil that comes out of these spices. So it's, it's really great because it releases all of those wonderful flavors into the pan. And then immediately what I'm going to do is put in my ginger and my shallot. So I need these to become translucent. So I'm going to dump those in. Maybe well, a few more here. I'm going to give this a little more time. So, yeah, I would give that at least five minutes, Carl. I'm squeezing and just I mean, making a mess. I mean, take it out right away. Take it out right away. Yeah, yeah. I think the salt's got to do its work. Yep. Carl, if you had time, yeah. what I do is put it in the sieve and put a plate on it that'll cover cover it, but not for the edges of the sieve, and then put a huge weight on top and leave it yeah, in the weight. It. Exactly. Yeah, that's do it. That works. <laughs> does work really well or another pot. I'll, I'll give it a minute. I'll, uh, I'll come back to it. A lot of people here today. A lot yeah. of people oh, wow. here today. It's so amazing Thank to you. see you all here. We are grateful to have you. Um, you can see, friends, now that I've gone ahead and we've got the, um, what are you up to? the onions, well, not the onions, the shallots and the ginger working in the path acts. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Now you add to your own taste. I don't, I, this is my third teaspoon, heaping sure. teaspoon. Um, I like to add quite a lot depending on how I'm going to dilute the soup because what you want is like not an over heavy curry soup, but you do want enough that you can still get a bite of the curry after. And it quite easily dilutes when you're adding two to three boxes of chicken broth, it can dilute pretty quickly. So, this is good. This is looking great. And you can see that my shallots are very translucent here. And Carl, it smells amazing, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know. I think it smells incredible. Carl here. wouldn't think oh. it smells like anything good because it doesn't have 17 hot peppers I'm, in it. I'm over here by myself. Just, I know, just that's fine where it's best. Oh, we got this. I just this. need help, but nobody's here to help me. No, oh, <laughs> he's all alone. Yeah. Oh, we do have I'm a lot of scared. moral support today, Carl. Well, I don't know, squash. The squeezing business just, I felt like a fool. Oh, don't feel like <laughs> a fool. Come on, Carl, you got this. What I'm doing is uh, chopping some garlic. I'm going to add that. That was not on the recipe. Why don't I bring it on back to you? <laughs> so you can show them what you're doing, Carl. I feel guilty hogging it. So you showed them. So how, sure? how fine are you chopping that garlic? Oh, fine enough for you to feel guilty. Fine enough for you to feel guilty. <laughs> pretty, likes that, pretty huh? fine because it's, it's all going to go in my biscuit mix. I'm really worried I won't be able to get the, the moisture out of my squash, though. We've got my fingers crossed. Right. And uh, a little bit of the scotch bonnet, maybe a quarter of it. Right. And there's not much left, just for a little kick. Yep. And... Rebecca, why are you using um, the boxed broth? Um, do you not use just water and a bouillon cube, or you can, can you use not? Water. Yeah, you can. Can I be honest, uh, Hilt? I use the box broth because it is easier for me to be able to manage the level of salt in the box broth, particularly. Uh, yeah, because with the bouillon cubes, I find when I'm cooking, it concentrates down just really salty really quickly. Yeah. So I like to use. You can certainly use the bouillon cube. Um, because when I'm cooking, I freehand a lot. It's not like when I'm baking, I prefer to use these because I know I can't go wrong. If you are a very, very 
careful and specific cook, you can certainly use the bouillon cube. Absolutely, without a problem. Yeah. Last week when I was in the store, I saw a really concentrated broth. They brought that back. So I don't know. So you don't have to carry all that water for no reason. I haven't nice. tried it though. Some lady recommended it, but I haven't tried it. See. We should totally try that sometime. I saw the little tiny thing, Kathy. Strangely enough, it's funny. I saw that. Yeah, saw they used to have them and they weren't very good quality, but maybe they are now. <laughs> sure, they're probably a lot better now than they used to be, huh? So this is it. I'm satisfied with the look of everything here. I'm going to drop in just a touch more because you know me. I like oh, she's going. <laughs> I like curry. Now, that doesn't mean, Carl, that I'm going to win. Well, you know what? Everybody loves to talk. Everybody loves. Now, <laughs> the one thing that he has on an, and like an advantage on me on, I forgot my uh, sour cream today. Yes. Oh. So you sour cream always Oh, yeah, you top. do need it. I oh, do. And you're going to fail. Fail. No. Uh, uh, it's not going to win. So I got See, my. Uh, all the way. I'm eyeballing it, but I got my four ounces of uh, cheese. I just had the marble we had from last week. Since this is all going together, I'm just going to mix in everything that's going to be mixed. Oh, yeah. Just throw it all in one bowl and hope for the best, Carl. That's all I can do. I've got a few extra spices here yeah. for you, too. You want some? Oh, just throw in a bowl and hope for the best. I got some treats. I got some old Starting onion my life. I, got, <laughs> I got a few things here for you. Yeah. All right. So that's good. I'm going to set that aside. What I am going to do is grab Carl's the garlic out. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Can I have one? I think I might throw in one yep. clove of garlic just because I'm in the mood this week. Unless, Carl, do you need it all? Let me chop it. You sure? You, you, you can keep stirring. I just need one. Just a little guy? Just a little guy. In the meantime, while Carl's chopping the garlic, I'm going to bring this over here again so that you folks yep. can see what I've done to the squash. So the squash has been in there long enough. Because we were in a rush, I put it in at 450. And I cut it in for about 25 minutes at this point. So it's going to be fairly soft. Yeah, it looks good. So it's got a bit of a caramelly flavor. I put like less than a teaspoon of salt on it because again, I don't like to season too much until after because what ends up happening is that concentration you have to throw it right in. And Carl's put in one clove of garlic for me, which is awesome. Thank you, Carl. That's very, very sportsman-like. Sports person-like. I should say sports person-like. We're mostly female identifying oh, today. So sports person, <laughs> yeah, we're all people. We're all people. Here we go. All right, so here we are. I'm going to look for something to set this on now. Um, I need something to set the uh, set the tray on so that I don't burn the cupboard. We used to have that thing of a bob. Oh, there it is. Look, and the gloves. Somebody's trying to be sneaky this week. Here we are. What am I talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Here we are. So putting this here, all right. So I am gonna pull out the squash so everyone can see. I don't know, what am I gonna do if this water doesn't come out of here? It will come out, Carl, give it a chance. I'm gonna give up. That's don't it. give up, that's no it. giving up, that's not allowed. Yeah, I might. Yeah, let me move that. Thank you, Carl, how thoughtful. So Carl's gonna move this over so I can set this down. Now this still isn't as roasty as I would like, but I'm gonna roast it more now. So the next step is to roast this. So if we wanna bring this over, you can kind of see um the look of it here so if you take a look at the pan it's at the tray itself you can see uh, these are fairly soft now which is nice and i'm going to finish roasting them off in the spices that i pre pre-cooked with the onions okay so that's the next step is that this stuff goes in here so i will take this lid off looks good give that a bit of a stir around and then i'm going to bring it right in to this pot so it's really that looks nice good Oh, good. I'm glad, Caroline. Honestly, can you, can you email me the recipe? I will. I certainly will, Caroline. Yes, certainly. Oh, boy. Yeah. Now, what I will say about this is this is an easy thing to make and prep, and then you have a lot of it, and then you put it away. So say if you're doing, like, a multi-course meal, or you're just doing something that you want to put away and freeze in the freezer, this is incredible. And all you have to do is really increase your ratios in order to um, make more soup. So, so usually with this, what I do is I make a ton of it at home. Like I'll, I'll wait for a weekend and I'll just make a big box of it. And then I freeze it. And then I just take it out when I want some. And it's so great. I'm kind of a strange person in that I like to have, if I'm up early in the morning, some people like to have, you know, like their coffee. I like to have soup. And I know that's weird. 
Or you know what I mean? Like I like to have a nice warm cup of soup in the morning. And that's that's a very individual thing. But you know, maybe it's afternoon time and you want a cup of soup. Whatever you want soup, you've got it, right? So that's what I love about this recipe. So I'm just going ahead and spooning this up. I am going to bring this back over here, folks, so you can see what I'm doing here. So there's the pan. Carl, how's your uh, how's your squash? Squishy. Hey. Is it squashy? It's squishy, squashy. Squishy, squashy. Uh, water's squishy, not going squashy. anywhere. So what I'm going to do is just start making tots uh, a little too wet and hope for the best. Did you give it a good press though? Yeah, Carl? it's not, not working. No luck for me. So oh, uh, let's just throw everything together. Yeah, sounds so we good. Cheese. We got my garlic. I mean, uh, add some breadcrumbs and my egg. Breadcrumbs. Carl, is there liquid that you add to that? Any liquid at all? Just the egg. Okay. Yeah, so I, I maybe I'll add a few more extra breadcrumbs. And the egg is a binder, right, Carl? Yeah. He's got this. The thing is, you know what? This is him. I think it should be fine. It'll be okay, right? Some yeah, it'll be okay. He's yeah. on the ropes, but he'll be fine. Maybe get out of the way. Yeah, I won't. Here, have maybe. some squash. Maybe the fact that it, it's not so liquidy. It's a good you know? Yeah, exactly. So don't worry about yeah, it. Maybe I had a dry squash. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Remember some some late some uh, what do you call them? What is what is this category of vegetables called? Some of these vegetables are much wetter than others. Like for example, zucchini is super wet. I don't wet. know a melon. Are they a melon? No. Gourd? I don't know. A gourd. Gourd. Gourd family. Let me taste. Okay. So or right now the squash tastes <laughs> super. And again, this is a really nice flavor. So my next step is to work this through. So I'm going to take this and go ahead. Oh, yeah. And you can see that I'm going ahead and actually mixing the spice through this squash. Now, because the flavor profile, once the squash is roasted, is sweet, and the flavor profile of the shallots becomes sweet, as well as the garlic, it's a really good marriage. And the curry just kind of sets it all off together. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm just going to eyeball it because I love garlic. You do love so, garlic, Carl. I'm going to show everybody yeah, a little you, mix here. I might need the thing. <clears throat> Mine, folks, you can kind of see how it's coming together. That's not a soup. It's not a soup yet. <laughs> I guess that you, you got to get everything pretty soft. Okay? Yeah, I do. I like to roast it all together. I like to get my base ready and then we, we move on to the next thing. Base it up. Base it up. <laughs> Okay, so we're mixing. Let's put this on the floor. A little frazzle. Here, frazzle. Yeah. Frazzle, frazzle, frazzle. Okay, here's my uh, mix. I have mostly breadcrumbs, garlic, my uh, very wet squash. So I uh, hope these breadcrumbs dried out a bit. I added just a bit extra. I have the oven on 450, Carl. Is okay. that a few That's watch? fine, because uh, I'm. 400 for 20 minutes. Okay, so I'll, let me just uh, put it at 900 degrees. 900, oh, that's what I, that's, you know what I missed though? My What's that? onion. Okay. They always do this, don't I? Uh -huh. What onion, Carl? Come There's on. no onion yeah. here. <laughs> I need that onion. Here's your onion, there you go. Not a whole one. Um, half a medium onion, so let's say it's half. Why not? Okay. So mine's looking ready to be. Yeah. Put into the soup. Now I may add again just a touch more. What's that? I like my curry, so I'm going to add it in. You can kind of smell. So for me, I always smell and I taste a little bit as to how things are coming before I put it together nope. in the soup. No tasting allowed. It no just tasting disqualified. Allowed. Disqualified. Yeah, that's the new rule. Get out of here. You can't it's a blind, <laughs> blind taste test. <laughs> a blind taste test. Because then you know you're going to win, right? <laughs> How am I supposed to do a taste test? I got this weird bowl of stuff. Remember, <laughs> oh my gosh. We'll see. This is either going to be amazing or they're just going to be these little lumps, little squash lumps. All right. What is a tot technically anyway? A tot is like a little, little tiny, like you're baby a, little. You're a tot. Yeah, I'm a tot. <laughs> you wish. 
Thank you, Todd. Back at Todd's and Dean. It's like a cylindrical shape. Potato. Yeah, like a tater tot. Right? Yeah, tater tot. It's fun to say. Chopped into small pieces. You know, the parsley would have really helped me out here, but my jalapeno is giving it that little bit of green color that I needed. Oh, he right. did do the jalapeno. It's on my days. I knew he would. Spilled my onions everywhere. Spicy, spicy. spicy. All right. So here we go. I am ready, Carl. I don't know about you. Ready? I'm not ready. Go ahead and, and the camera I'm again. In big trouble. You still need it. Oh, I need it. You need it still? I'm the star of this show. You're the star of this show. All right. Well, that's fair enough. Here, here. Sprinkle of salt. Let's see what you have. Yeah, please. Thank you, sir. That looks so good. Yeah, thank you. So you can see here is the state of things here on this end. I put in a tiny sprinkle of salt. Oh. And we are getting down to the mushy state of mind here, which is where I want to be. So Becca's got the advantage because she knows her recipe. She's made it before. She's perfected it. Yeah, but Carl, I left it out. What's up? I left it out for an advantage for you. Where's sour cream? That's you don't the have I put in sour cream usually. Oh, well, not today. Not today. I left it out on your cap. <laughs> if I had added uh, the sour cream, who knows what better. would have happened with a no contest battle. <laughs> You can add a little bit of mayo. What's that? Mayo. That's a good call. Same color. It'll work, right? Okay. So we're gonna clean up a bit and some some mild cheese. That would be always good. What's that, Cat? A little mild cheese would always be good too. Oh, yes, you're absolutely right. A little mild cheese would work. or something. Yep. You can totally. Do that one gives you the tang. Maybe you need a dash of lemon. Yeah. Absolutely, because I don't use any dairy in this recipe other than that. So I'm now transferring Put you up my base, my soup base, over into my pot. I can't see. Is she cheating back there? Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. You know me, Carl. You bought soup, didn't you? I did. And buy you're just soup. gonna That's swap it. it out at the end. That's Do you it. see me uh, swapping it away? <laughs> Oh, she's making soup for real. Yeah. For real, I gotta be scared. Yeah, you should be scared. No, I'm kidding. Oh. I'm not like that. That's not me. <laughs> Are you gonna need this? Uh, no, it's yours. No, I might keep it because you've got oil on there already. I do. Mm. Do you think I should parchment paper or just go right on top? No, just go right on. As long as there's oil, you can go right on top. I don't know. You think I should trust her? I think you should trust me. <laughs> I think you should definitely trust me, Carl. So mix your Mixture should be sticky and wet, like a thick paste. If it is too wet, add extra breadcrumbs. So we did that. Make right. little tots with your hands. About one to two tablespoons of mixture per tot. You can dip your hands in cold water between tots. This will help keep the mixture from sticking to your hands. There's a hot tip. There is a hot tip. So Carl, what the heck is the tip this week? Cold hands. Cold hands, <laughs> warm heart. Yeah. Warm stomach. These don't look good yet, but pro I promise. Check this out. Once you've had Carl's jalapenos, you'll have a hot stomach for sure. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I'm starting to put in my chicken stock now. I've got one package in there. Um, you can see already that I've got like a nice thick stew here. I think that's a bit big. It's a little, little eggy size, you and, know? And now you're going to deep fry those, Carl? No, they just bake. I have no okay. idea. <laughs> oh, Carl. I, I changed my recipe this morning because she was on to me and she saw what I was making. So at the last minute, I changed my recipe. Just I to freak her out. I told you not to. <laughs> I told you That's what okay. I've never, I've yeah. never made squash balls like that before. Mm -hmm. So a new recipe is, uh, is something that I'm interested in. That's what I was hoping. You know, something nobody's really done before. Yeah, it might be good for me too. And, uh, like I said earlier, you can, get me to eat vegetables. <laughs> you can use zucchini instead of the squash, but everything else can stay the same. So pretty much right. Oh my egg. Goodness gracious. Actually, you got but me so zucchini, zucchini is very much wetter than Check squash. Checkaroonies. All right, so there's what my soup looks like. I have to let oh, it sit. I have to put it away. Don't eat my I'm going to eat his tot for oh, sure. It's raw. It's raw. <laughs> Here, let's okay. put it on his tray. So you know what, the egg is probably something I don't want to miss. For sure. Did you have <laughs> the egg in it yet, Carl? I'm a mess. Oh my I'm gosh, sorry, yeah, please. put it back in there. Sorry, I'm I put sorry. one there. So where's my egg? Back to mixing. I had some beautiful tots there. Hey, where'd this one come from? 
Okay, we'll live to taught another day. All right, so friends, We're today, all learning. I eyeballed the amount of squash I had, and I'm only using two boxes instead of three boxes of broth. Yeah. So we'll have an additional box for you another time. You know what? Time. I didn't even use my other squash. Uh, yeah, sometimes you don't need it all. I had a lot. You had a lot. I didn't know how many seeds there were. Okay, so eggs. Or a tablespoon, a tablespoon of flour will dry it a little too. You know, I think I'm okay because they were holding together pretty good. And now with the egg. Yeah. Yeah, and so zucchini is definitely more wet than squash. Yeah, yeah. And then you might have better luck uh, if you had more time. The pressing method that uh, you guys were talking about. The pressing method is good. We used that line a few yeah. episodes ago with zucchini. Yeah, so they, Kathy said she waits it, and that will do the trick. That's fun. Yeah. What are you doing in there? I'm going to kick you in the cupboard. <laughs> Beck is uh, crawling into a cupboard. She's hiding. She must be intimidated by my tots here. I had to get Tons. this stuff. I have to blitz my soup. Where did you go? What's that movie where they... Narnia. Narnia. <laughs> That's a book too. Yeah? Yes, yes. I read those when I was little. Instead of the wardrobe, I went into, the, went undercover. into the, cupboard. the cupboard. Yeah. The undercover. Don't go in there. It's haunted. It's haunted. A lot of stuff <laughs> around here is haunted. Can we tell you folks? Especially now Halloween. We should tell you. The other day, our secretary told us as we were coming in, she said, oh, were you in the club yesterday? It's covered. And I was like, no, we weren't in the club, Donna. <laughs> no, of course we weren't. It was five in the morning when she, she's like, at about five this morning. I was like, no, we were not in the club at five this she, morning. So she looks in the door, like, cause she in can, the window, in right? the window right? because yeah. from reception, you can look directly into the window into our club. At that time, she said she saw this cupboard <laughs> and she saw it. Open. I don't know. Close. I don't Open. Know. Sure. Close. Kitchen. <laughs> Three oh. times. She Are you said. scared? I feel a ghost. He made me forget my egg. Today, yeah. Well, ghost apparently, ghost. apparently, Kensington has a ghost, uh -oh. and the ghost's name is Sadie. Uh oh. And this ghost usually primarily stays at, at reception. And what she does is that she tries to get really close to the receptionist because they're here all the time while she's here. So how she manifests is that they'll be sitting there at reception and all of a sudden, right next to their ear, they'll hear somebody say, hi. That's terrifying. Come like, on. hello okay. or hi, like that. I can't come into work anymore. I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, that's what she told me. That's why she asked me. She's like, oh, does Sadie go in there too? I was like, who the heck is Sadie? Oh, oh. That's not a, that's like a scary name. It's Isn't like, it? you're, you know you're going to be a ghost. You know you're going to be a ghost <laughs> if your name is Sadie. That's it. Doomed forever. Oh, I'm sorry, but name's Doomed. Uh, Halloween. <laughs> That's oh, a ghost coming. story if I ever heard any. Yeah, oh, yeah. I got chills. Yeah, you got right chills. Now. They're multiplying. Oh, 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 oh. That's a scary thing. Well, your cupboard's open now. Oh. <laughs> see? Uh, okay, so there's a little bit. Of we'll see. We'll see if size mattered. I believe I made these too big. But you know what? After all those mistakes, I'm going to pretend I didn't make any. Rebecca doesn't know. So nobody's gonna know, right? No, nope, nobody's yeah. gonna know. Are we done with all these? Oh, dishes, eh? Dishes forever, oh, Charles. Nobody. I'm sorry. So if you want to take a look at what my soup is looking like. Yeah. So now at this point for your soup, it just needs time. So he's at 400 now in his oven for his pots. What my soup requires now is just a little bit of time. You can see the beautiful color on the soup. Okay, so All right. let's make a fancy sauce. A fancy sauce? Let's make a fancy sauce. I wish I had sour cream, Carl. No. If I were nicer, I'd run to the store. But... He's not nicer today because this is a competition. That's right. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so I'm not going to do the green yogurt. I'm actually, you got mayo? Mayo? Really? Okay, all right. Don't worry about it, he says. Fancy I sauce. love mayo, so I'm always in the mayo. Let Fancy me see what sauce. we got. Let me see what we got. Yeah, I didn't think we have anything. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't know. I don't I would. It's all separated. That's pre pandemic. That is pretty gross. Is that? Forget it. You know what I'm going to do? What are you going to do? I'm sorry, Carl. I'm looking at all the cupboards, high and low, and I don't see anything. Nice presentation for the judge. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Nice presentation. He 
leave something green on it, Carl. Nice presentation. We are Martha Stewart esque today. Check it out. You know, yeah, I I catch up. This is just gross. Oh, Carl, for shame. I'm not having a good life. Get out of here. So, some sriracha, sriracha mixed with ketchup. I was going to add a little bit of mayo also. Let's see what else we got. Maybe some cumin. A little there. Dash. What about something like really oh, like yeah. what, what about like a, some well, jalapeno? Not may or, or what are you gonna what, what are about you? jalapeno? <laughs> what else are you gonna suggest? Cinnamon? Oh just well a, Carl knows what Carl needs. It's this the most intense sauce I've ever heard of. I mean we got miracle whip. Miracle right? whip. That's, that's, that's the same thing. Is it? Can I be honest? I know I make my own mayo, which is good, but I love Miracle yeah. Whip. I need, need permission. It says Be Becca's personal. Becca's personal Miracle, miracle Whip, because I love Miracle so Whip, but I don't use it in my cooking. Literally has your name on it. You can. Just get a different spoon. So I'm going to put a ketchup spoon in it. Gross. I don't want ketchup spoon in my Miracle Whip. I don't. How's your soup, huh? My soup is awesome. Huh? I'm just over here to monitor your sauce. Get out of here. I don't want to get out of here. I'm, just, I'm having such a bad day. Who has a special sauce that they you're not? You're doing well. Yeah. Who has a special sauce that they make at home that like they would be willing to share here? What is your favorite sauce? Fancy sauce. Fancy sauce. Anybody? Well, I need a teriyaki. I, you go, oh, Caroline. Teriyaki. Teriyaki? Do you make it? <laughs> yeah, what do you No, do? I don't make it. I just like the taste of it. Oh, nice. Okay, somebody else add into there. Hell. Yeah, I I use muggy a lot because Maggie? it's a celery yeah. soya. Yeah, it's different. Soya. Becca loves the stuff. I had it uh, growing up on my soups. That was good. Love me some Maggie. <laughs> Love Which there one is that? Got. What's that? That's Maggie sauce. Yeah. Oh. Maggie sauce, my favorite. Uh, let's talk. Who else has uh, some sauce that they like? Stella, Mary, Shanaz? Um, I, I don't, I don't put sauce most of the time. I like the original taste. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't put sauce, yeah. She's a purist. I tried, I tried Nando's I hot sauce with some blue cheese dressing. What, Ooh, some pasta. It was very nice. Sounds nice. Sounds delicious, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like a nice light sauce. Hey. I'm gonna taste that sauce, Carl. Nope, I'm Everything make prepared makes it simple. <laughs> yeah. Oyster sauce. What's that, Mary? Oyster sauce. Oyster, Oyster sauce. sauce. Yeah. 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 So good. So good. All right. So, Jess, do you have a favorite sauce? I'm gonna be helping her out. Probably like Chipotle. Yes, delicious, awesome. That's like a girl after Carl's heart as well. He yeah. loves that spicy Mexican like chipotle flavor too. It's so good, okay. so good. Here's, here's the razzle dazzle. Check this out. Razzle dazzle, Carl. Okay. And if we missed anybody for your sauce, jump right in and tell that's us what your favorite that sauce. Is. That bean sauce with garlic. Ooh, yum, yum. Yum, I love it. And what is Shanaz? What did you say? Oh, See if she can. Shanaz is gone. She, she sent a check. Oh, she, she left already. Okay, well, we'll find out from her next time. Thank you, Stella. Look at this. There's my fancy sauce ready. All right. One beautiful pot. So one beautiful pot. So, I'm going to turn the heat down for this. You, you know fancy sauce, though, right? I do. That's know just fancy like sauce. what kids call mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together. Oh, Look at that fancy sauce. No, I, I you actually. You can tell them it's something different, and it's just mayo and. Ketchup. Really, it's mayo and ketchup mixed together. I've fancy never. Fancy sauce. Yeah. Where did you pick that up from? It's it's a known thing. That's right? a thing, eh? It's a thing. Yeah. Jess knows fancy sauce. Jess knows fancy sauce? Yeah. She must if she likes Chipotle as well. No, so Jess is on nice. the same level. I'm off. Uh, I don't know. See, yeah. You're not cool enough to know more. I'm not cool enough to know <laughs> so you more. Can, but you don't need to have something very spicy. Sometimes Mine? if you just take mayonnaise and lemongrass and lemon oh. juice, 
and I put it thinking, together. It's a, wow. just a different taste wow. direction. I was thinking, I think you have the wrong, the wrong mixer. Oh, here, buddy. Here, I got you. Oh. Something happened. Look at that. Look at me helping out. Helping out because I was points. really in big trouble. All right. Yeah. I give you plus two points for two that. Two points. Two points. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is here. I am going to bring this down You're gonna here need to this a cream? lower heat. Yeah. I am going to use that cream. Okay. I was going to put in the coffee. No All right, way, Becca. Way. Okay. All right, so let me show you the state of my soup right now prior to prior to going ahead and uh, blitzing it. So my next step, I am not a chunky soup fan. Now I will eat chunky soup if somebody else makes chunky soup. Of course I'll eat chunky soup because I'm sure it's delicious. For myself, I'm a blender, super blender. Yep. I have one of these at home and I love it. Well hot? No, it needs to come off there. Okay. Why don't you turn it off? I'm going to reheat it after, yeah. So, I mean, maybe you just pull it off. I'm going to hang over here. People can watch you because oh, cool they don't want to look at my fancy sauce anymore. All right. Too fancy. Too fancy for your watch fancy sauce? That's really hot. Yeah, I know. Be careful, okay? Um, oh, did you hurt yourself? No. Nope. For real life? No. Okay. I'm just, just trying to make you concerned. Seeing if you care. I do care. <laughs> A little bit. Carl's one of my <laughs> best friends. I care about you pretty much. Well, <laughs> Awesome. Sabotage his sauce for sure, but that doesn't mean he's not one of my best friends. Do you want a uh, burnt powder in there? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to. No, thanks. Oh, no, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Away you go. Yeah, okay. Shut up. <laughs> no, I think be okay. So I, what my other tip is I with worry. these is make sure it's deep enough and you don't bring it up, particularly when it's hot. Yeah, yeah. Keep you it never, on low. You keep right? it low and you keep it close to the bottom because otherwise what ends up happening is you get a giant splash room. And you press kind of down into the, your chunks? That's correct. Or are you just going to move it around? So I'm going to go ahead and move it around this way. I've never seen this done hot before. Oh. We're still, still here. here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we're okay. We always get kicked out at a certain time because meditation comes on after, and I have a feeling Catherine signs it. Oh, I see. That's all. I see. Yeah, so well, this is coming there. together. Gonna, I got 10 minutes left on my talk. We're doing okay. okay. We're doing okay. Sip a coffee while I to catch up. Yep, that's right. So his is really coming along, so is mine. Usually I like mine a bit thicker, but that's okay. We're going to cook it down a little bit. It'll help it to get a bit thicker. I'm going to just capture a few of these floating pieces up. And I do that by lifting up, coming on top, and then getting them down below. The floaters? The floater. Ew. <laughs> that sounds gross to me. Let's not call them that. Now it's psychological. Now it's psychological warfare. warfare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross. Floaters. Ew, get out of here. That's terrible. That's terrible. Folks, it's definitely not that kind of a soup. We're not that close to Halloween. Now Even if we were, I don't do that. Now everybody wants a tot. Yeah. <laughs> they want a, a turd. Hey. <laughs> that's, I guess that's fair. That's fair. All's fair. All's fair, sure. Carl. Gross. <laughs> Tell me about tots. We're acting like we're about five years old here. Uh, so, friends, do you, when you're making your vegetable soups, do you tend to puree them, or do you like to keep them? Do you like to keep them all chunky? I like to keep it chunky. Nice. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. I like, no, I like it pureed. I team puree all the way. Each their own, right? Yes. Oh, it's starting to look like really? starting to look like a soup. I was a little worried for a minute. Were you? Yeah, well, wouldn't want you to be too embarrassed. No, that's right. I wouldn't want to be making a <laughs> fool of myself with my signature soup. You know what soup I'd really like to make friends is a really good tomato soup. So if anybody has like a good recipe for tomato soup, let me know. Ah! <laughs> Giant squash. <laughs> I gotta get ready to present my winning uh, dish. His winning dish. Oh, oh. see this recipe? I already need it. I already invented this recipe. Carl's invention. Squash tots. That's what they're gonna call me. Squash tots? Yeah. It's my new middle name. Carl Squash Tots. Carl Squash Tots. <laughs> Heindel. 
I think so. It's a very original recipe, and that's one thing we appreciate. And the spirit of competition is creativity. Uh, I, I don't know. Give people ideas, right? Why not? Try something new. We really life. should try. That's food. right. It's kind of like that Ted Lasso thing where he's always screaming, football is life, but it's actually food. <laughs> food is life. Food is life. You gotta enjoy it, right? Yeah. You know what? Your soup matches your shirt. I know. Well, exactly. that was the idea. That was the idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It's it's literally the same color from where I'm standing. That is cool. And all along. My right? master yeah. plan. The master of disaster. <laughs> double double boil and trouble. All right, here we go. Oh, thank you, Carl. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Yes. Um, I missed the first part, how you take out the skin from the squash. Okay, so our hot tip today was you, you take boiling water and you put the squash in for about 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes. And then you dump the water out or pull it out with tongs and the skin will peel right off like you would oh. with a potato. Okay, okay, yeah. Or you can just skin it like regularly and oh, throw it very hard. hard. Very hard to take out the skin. Yeah. So, so that's that's what I did. I didn't do anything, and mine was pretty rough to get it off. Um, I just kind of and mine has a funny shape, right? Uh, so yeah, I, very difficult. This was I don't know. I didn't even think, but I, I got it done somehow. I'm sure I lost more than I would have if I softened it. Because you are smaller, strong. Smaller knife. That could be it. Cutting it down the middle was very difficult. Yeah. Ah, I'm not familiar with squashes, so that's something I learned to believe. There we go. All right, Kirli. So your job is to taste both of these things. So maybe it was the winner. And then tell us which one you like the best. I'll give you 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't think so. so. I have to save this off now, okay, right? So yeah. hang on, I'll get you some water, Kirli, so that you can like cleanse your palate in between. I'm just gonna get it. We're being fancy today. Okay, so have a sip of water in between. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're gonna do it the real way, eh? Oh I'm yes. We're gonna yeah, do it the real way. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Leave okay. the kitchen, Carl. Okay. Leave that. Thing. <laughs> All right. Carl. Too close. Too close. Okay, I'm back here. We're no manipulating the judge, Carl. Okay. Don't worry. Just have a little bite. Let's see, see what this one. You can dip it in my fancy sauce, or. Oh man. Okay. Let's try this. <laughs> I don't piece. know what, what mine's supposed to do. Oh my god. You can even yeah. use your hands if you yeah, yeah. Okay, a little bit of salt. Okay, okay here's the salt. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Which one is that? Talk? Oh. Is it okay? This is yummy. Is it good? Oh no. Good, right? Oh, see? I like the taste. It's a bit too soft mm. though. What do you think? Oh no. It's okay. It's just Fluffy? perfect. It's just perfect. It's, yeah. Thank you, Kurt. Okay. okay. So now you have a sip of water, Kirlina, and then you try mine. Let's try another one. Let's see. You're putting you on the spot. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Reputation. Like, on the spot. On the spot, Kirlina. It's okay, quite hot. Let's be try careful. some of this here. Be honest. Okay, I'm going to try some of this cream, whatever you put in there. Yes. Oh, the milk. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, first time I'm like. All right, ladies. Oh. Let's see. Here's the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, they're both perfect. Uh, <laughs> they're both combined together. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, so who wins, Kirlene? Both of them. Oh! oh! It's a tie. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, what do you do? Oh, yeah. oh. Is it soft? It's good. It's fluffy. It's, it's good. good. It's, it's really good. good. I've never eaten a food that looked or had that kind of consistency. It I tastes was, like a little spicy. Uh, yeah, Super spicy. Uh, jalapeno, yeah. I like it. I, wonder, I actually like it. Okay, let me have one. Yeah, try it. It's good. I'm going to dip a tot in the wings. <laughs> it won't taste as good. It's good. Okay. 
So <laughs> Carl, think think if you would have had a little bit of parsley green on the plate. Oh, you know what? The parsley would have made me win. Yeah, the you parsley. Would have... <laughs> Carl, can I ask you, your tots, did you put any flour? So just breadcrumbs, uh, egg, cheese, the grated uh, squash, which I think I could have got more liquid out if I had more time. Oh, okay. Uh, and they came out nice and puffy. Oh, and uh, half an onion diced too. Super yeah. tasty. And I put a bit of jalapeno or a uh, squash bonnet in there just for color and a little bit of spice. And it actually tastes great. They're just a little softer. Truly, you would not want it to have been the judge this week. These are both delicious. Yeah, we both win. Yeah. You don't need a judge. Yeah. We're the judge. You guys are great. Oh, but we know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Listen, friends, we love you so much. Thank you for coming. Please come back next week. Yep. We want to see you again. If this is your first time, welcome. Keep yep. coming. A lot we of love you. Here today. I'm glad. Yeah. Thank you. Thank okay, bye. You. Okay. Thank bye. you so much. Bye. Have a good day. Bye.